So let's begin. Lektion 3. Once again, Lektion 3. Zahl. Once again, Zahl. Zahlen. Once again, Zahlen. Zahl is the singular form and Zahlen is the plural form. Remember, you have to listen and repeat. So, are you ready? Here we go. Null. Once again, Null. Eins. Once again, Eins. We learned in the previous lessons that S has the sound of Z. But whenever the letter S occurs at the end of a German word or after the last vowel within that word, it is pronounced as in English S. Zwei Once again, Zwei The German consonant Z is pronounced like the English TS sound that is found at the end of words such as mats, pots, bits. Drei. Once again, drei. The next one is fear. Once again, fear. The pronunciation is similar to the English word fear. We have already learned that the German V has the same sound as the English F. Fünf Once again, fünf The two dots that you find on U are known as umlaut. You will pick up the pronunciation with a few more words that we will come across in the next few lessons. Sex. Once again, Sex. We have already learned that whenever the letter S occurs at the beginning of a German word and is followed by a vowel, it is pronounced as if it were the English C. Similarly, in the next one, sieben. Once again, sieben. Acht. Once again, acht. Neun. Once again, neun. In this case, EU is pronounced like OI, for example, in oil in English. Zehn. Once again, Zehn. Hope you remember the pronunciation of Z in German. It's TS. Elf. Once again, elf. Zwölf. Once again, zwölf. Well, letters with umlaut, in this case O with umlaut, has no equivalent in English. You will be picking up the pronunciation once you learn more words. Dreizehn Once again, dreizehn Numbers from 13 to 19 follow a simple rule. Number plus 10 Drei plus zehn gives you dreizehn. Similarly, the next one. Vier plus zehn gives you vierzehn. Once again, vierzehn. And can you guess the next one? Fünfzehn. 
Once again, 15. Sechzehn. Once again, sechzehn. Well, in this case, you do bring sex and zehn together, but sex is used without s. This is to make the pronunciation easier. Also, the next number is slightly exceptional. Siebzehn. Instead of siebenzehn, you say Siebzehn. Once again, siebzehn. In this case, you remove the en from sieben and add it to the zehn. Siebzehn. Let's look at the next one. Achtzehn. Once again, achtzehn. And the next one, 19. Once again, 19. And now we come to the final number, 20. Once again, 20. When G forms a part of an IG suffix, it is pronounced as ich. You might also find some people pronouncing this number as 20. This is because they have a different dialect. So now you know numbers from 0 to 20. Let's move on to see how you can use these numbers to say your mobile number. Wie ist Ihr Handynummer? This question is asked formally and informally I would ask Wie ist deine Handynummer? Answer to both these questions is the same. Meine Handynummer ist 0187-632-945 Once again, 0187-632-945 now try to read your mobile number in German. Let's summarize the numbers from 0 to 20 once again. I'll speak and you repeat after me. Don't forget the two exceptions that we have here. 16 and 17. 0 1 2 3 Vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn, elf, zwölf, dreizehn. 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 Great! In the next video, we will be learning the numbers after 20. To practice what you have learned today, you can download a free worksheet from our page on patreon.com. You can also gain access to our transcripts by becoming a $1 patron and to our podcasts by becoming a $5 patron. Danke! Thanks for watching this video. If you liked this video, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you still